Hi, I'm um, just going to review quickly some uh, factoring skills that will really help us in our work with the product rule. So um, here's an example of um, an expression um, after the product rule has been applied. Um, so what we want to do is we want to look for things in this, which is a whole term right here, and here, where do they have common factors? So the first thing that should be obvious is between 5 and 90, they're both, um, 5 is a factor of both of those numbers. So we have that, and then the other thing we have is 3x squared plus 2, and here's the 3x squared plus 2. Here there are two of them, here there are three of them. So I'm going to factor out the smallest power of that. So these are the things that are coming out of my expression. So I took a 5 out, I took 2 out of the 3 of these, so I have one of those left over. So there you can see the power has changed. And then from the 90, I'm going to take out a 5, which leaves 18. 18 times 5 is 90. The x squared remains. And of course, since I divided this out by itself, it becomes 1. So the rest of this then is um, just a matter of cleaning up what's on the inside. We have a 3x squared, and we have 18x squared, which is 21x squared, and we have a 2, which is 2. <laughs> so, factor. Boom, roasted. All right, here's another one. This situation is a little bit easier to look at. Um, hold on a second, let me go back a little bit here. Um, that's not too far back. All right. Here, we can see that um, the 5 and the 2, there's nothing in common to factor out of them. Um, but both of these are powers of x. So um, as a rule, if you have the smallest power of x and you choose to factor that from both, you're going to end up with a clean uh, factored whatever <laughs> expression. So to factor out x to the one-half power. So essentially factoring is like dividing. But we're going to keep the 5 and we're going to divide the uh, x to the 3 halves by x to the one-half which is like x to the 3 halves minus one-half. So dividing is like subtracting the exponents. And here once again one-half minus one-half. So gives x to the one-half 5x to the 1 plus 2x to the 0. Just to verify that this is working right, I've, if I was to redistribute to get back where I was, I would see there's x to the one half times 5x, and there's x to the one half times 2, x to the one times x to the one half. We add the exponents to get x to the three halves. So this is pretty good. Here's another one. Once again, we look for the common factors, and the lowest power I see is actually a negative one half. Since that's the smallest power, I'm going to divide both this and that by x minus 2 to the negative one half. So that's the thing that's being factored out. Notice subtraction. When we divide, we subtract the exponents, but I'm subtracting a negative exponent. So one half minus negative one half is actually going to be to the one power. And uh, so that's then we get 3 halves x, which is here and we get x minus 2 to the negative 1 half minus a negative 1 half which of course gives us the 0 x minus 2 to the 0 is 1 that's why it disappeared down here so here again we got the uh, one exponent for those guys and the rest is cosmetics clean it up first of all uh, we can distribute the 3 and we can add 3x plus 1 and a half x to get 4 and a half x and that's pretty decent. You can leave your work like that and be satisfied. However, negative exponents, negative uh, fraction exponents, they can be cleaned up a little bit. So for example, so for example um, this uh, x minus 2 to the negative 1 half, that could be expressed as 1 over the square root of x minus 2. So it looks a little cleaner. The other thing is, you can actually see 4 and a half and 6. If you had 1 and a half plus 1 and a half plus 1 and a half, that would be 4 and a half plus one more it would be six. So there's one and a half as a common factor here. So I take out a three halves right now so that this becomes three mi three x minus four. It's a little bit cleaner than four and a half x minus six. We got the three halves outside. So three times the one times the three x minus four makes up the numerator and the two times the square root of x minus two make up the denominator. Boom, factored. So here again, common factor is the lowest power. So we're going to have the 5 minus x to the 4th is the lowest power of that one. And here's x to the negative 2 and x to the negative 3, the lowest power, x to the negative 3, because negative 3 is more negative than negative 2. First expression, we take out x to the negative 3, we get the negative 2 left over. We also have um, 4 out of these 5, so we're going to have one of those left over. And here we take out x to the negative 3, there's going to be x to the 1 left over, and then I take out a whole of these. So just to be clear on this one, 5 minus x to the 4th, once I factor it out, there's a 1 right over here that's implied. And also, when I take x to the negative 2 and divide by x to the negative 3, 
we're going to do negative 2 minus negative 3, and there we go. So, distributing the negative 2, collecting like terms, cleaning everything up, gives us this result. And it's factored. Hope you find this helpful. Have a good day.